Hey, what's up everybody? This is Amr from Spoken English Mentor and I hope you are having a wonderful day as always. So, in this video, um, I was asked a question by a student and you see, I'm asked these kind of questions here and there often and I can understand that some people have these questions and you know, life gets weird, life gets complicated and when we're working hard towards a goal, when we're working hard towards mastering something, let's say mastering English for example, right? We start thinking, okay, what would happen if I don't do it? What if I don't get the job? What if I don't pass my exams? What if I don't? What if I'm not able to? What if? And then they go to the negative, right? And hey, this happens all the time. Many of you may be thinking in your lives, what if I don't, you know, pass these important exam? What if I don't get my driver's license? What if I don't, you know, so many things, so many situations pop up. So you see, Everything has its upsides and its downsides. Now, you have to pay attention and see. You have to focus out of these two options, down, looking at the downside or looking at the upside. Which side would you rather be looking at? Which side would you prefer? Now, Obviously, you know, you have to look at the downside, look at the risks, look at, you know, all these things to make a careful decision, right? To be safe. However, if you want to stay positive, if you want to stay motivated, if you want to make sure that you are able to achieve your goals, have the energy, then you have to keep an eye on the upside. You have to be focusing at the upside. You have to make the habit of constantly looking at the upside. What's the upside? You have to really be there in your goals, in your dreams. You have to see yourself achieving them. You have to see yourself getting to the point to where, hey, you can see yourself graduating from this college. You can see yourself getting this job. You can see yourself passing this interview. You can see yourself finishing this program. Seeing yourself mastering spoken English and effective communication. You have to see yourself there. You have to see how it feels. Look at the whole picture. Now, let's say you want to go to the gym, right? For example, gym's a great example. You want to build some muscles, you know, do some bicep curls. Now, when you're going to the gym, you have to look, you have to think about yourself, you know? How would you want to see yourself after six months? Imagine your body, imagine your muscles, the shape, either, whether you're looking to lose weight, gain muscle, right? Either way, anything. Imagine the shape of your body. Imagine how you would look. Imagine how you would feel. And then start working towards it. And keep that vision in mind. Keep that picture of what you want to look like the whole time. Now, when you look at the upside, you're, you're going to feel motivated. Your body's going to be full of more energy. Your mind's going to be full of more energy. You're going to be extremely motivated. And you're going to want to get there. Because what happens is, you know, like once in a while, you are going to get negative thoughts. You're going to get thoughts that take you into a weird place, in a downside, in a dark place. What happens if I don't? What if this doesn't work out? What if I can't? What if this? What if that? No! Cut that. As soon as that happens, think about the upside. Think about the positive sides. You know, it's okay. That happens to everyone. That happens to many people. Me, myself, that doesn't happen to often at all. Because I've trained myself to look at the upside. All I see is the upside. I'm aware of the downside, but my focus, my attention is all at the upside. So that way I can go closer to my goals. So ultimately, that's what's going to improve your life. That's what's going to get you to where you want to be. That's what's going to get you to achieving your dreams and goals. So going forward, make sure you pay attention and look at the upside and think and imagine how would your life be if you took action, if you do this new thing. Rather than thinking, oh, if I do this, oh, my life will go down and whatnot. If it didn't work out, this will happen. And no, look up. See what will happen if you do do it. If everything does work out. If you do achieve your goals. When you do. And here's one more thing. Here's one more thing you can do. No, you know what you can do? You can actually write down. You can draw a picture on the page. You can write down the points of exactly what you want to do. Look at all the upsides. List them. Just see those. That will help you gain more clarity. Write down your goals. Write down how your life will look like with your goals. Draw yourself a picture. As in, make it very clear, very creative. 
exactly what you want. Exactly what you know you want. If you don't know exactly what you want, just what you know you want, right? Because you have goals, you have dreams, you have something close to that, right? And you want to achieve them, so work towards it. Keep an eye on them. I um, hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, comment below. If you are struggling with these thoughts as well, comment below and let us know if this helped. Um, if there's anything else you would like to see in the video, comment below. I love seeing you guys' comments. Uh, I appreciate all the comments. We're always happy to help. And hope you're having a wonderful day. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more notifications every single day to help you master spoken English. And master effective communication so that way you can achieve your goals and dreams and get to where you want to be. Take care and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.